shortly after testing it, NVIDIA has officially unveiled its high-end GPU, the Titan RTX. As expected, it has 72 Touring RT and 4608 CUDA cores, above 68 and 4352, respectively, on the RTX 2080T. However, this is not so much a consumer card, but more in the family of the Titan V computer GPU. As such, it comes with a whopping 24GB of GDDR6 VRAM and is priced at $2,500, both more than double that the RTX 2080T. The Titan RTX is aimed at AI researchers, users of workstations and players with deep pockets. However, it looks a lot like the RTX 2080T, although with much more memory. It also has a complete TU-102 GPU, very similar to the NVIDIA Quadro RTX 6000, oriented to workstations, and has the same number of CUDA, Tensor and RT cores and identical to 24GB of GDDR6 VRAM. If that does not work, you can get the Titan RTX and VLINK bridge for $80 which allows you to join two Titan RTX cards along with twice the VRAM and 100 gigabytes per second of total bandwidth. With the latest generation of GTX cards, NVIDIA had a Titan XP card for the consumer that cost $1,200, but has changed the strategy since the Titan V. The Titan RTX is more aimed at AI researchers and other users who want to take advantage of the Tensor cores, which offer graphics with real-time ray tracing. The additional memory will also make it possible for scientists to perform much larger simulations than it could with the 11GB of memory of the RTX 2080T.